Welcome to Unilag TV News. I am Vina Peters. We begin with details in the education segment. Special advisor to Governor Sanwo Lu on education, Tokumba Waha beseeched youths, especially young girls who miss their education due to early pregnancy or other factors, to take advantage of the alternative school system to re enroll for secondary education and learn a vocation that would make them become entrepreneurs as they would be assisted with soft loans to start their businesses through the Lagos State Employment Trust funds. It is time for Jambais to sit up as a minimum cutoff mark for the 2021 and 2022 admissions will be reached by the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board as well as the heads of tertiary institutions on August 31 at a policy meeting, which will be chaired by the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu. Nigerian universities are strongly saying no sex for grades as the University of Calabar in Cross River State says it is investigating allegations that its lecturers had resorted to conducting examinations at homes and hotels. Definitely, it is believed that sexual and monetary gratification may be a prime motive here and this is a very impressive step. On a lighter note, this news week me past any other one. A man suspected to be a co-executive member of the Stingy Men Association has lived up to the tenants of the association as he took his female friend, known as Paris Omar, to a construction site and used her as a laborer after she asked him for financial assistance, which she said she needed urgently. He made her appreciate how hard it is to come by money just by that single day's experience. <laughs> no, not saying anything, my lips are sealed. Let's leave that alone and let me take you to the world of entertainment, where Ari and Princess from the BB Ninja Shine Your Eye reality show have carried their bag and baggage back to their respective homes. You see, the eviction of these two people was well expected, but what took me by surprise was when Princess said her real crush was cross and later realized she was crossed by cross. <laughs> This is rather sad news as a car rammed into the vehicle conveying Nigerian rapper Mr. Raw. Both him and his driver were badly affected and rushed to an undisclosed hospital in Abuja where they are currently receiving treatment. Thank God they are responding to treatments. And that ends Unilag TV News today. I am Vina Peters. Good evening.